Aloha, you're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Peter Silva, Technical Marketing Manager with F5, and we're here at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center in Las Vegas for Interop 2012. We're in booth 2137. If you're in town for the show, come on by and visit us. And I have Senior Technical Marketing Extraordinaire, Lori McVitie I don't with think me. I that's what it says in Outlook, though, but I like that better. You like that one? I'm change it. And so uh, this week we announced the new ADO solution offering from F5, that's the Application Delivery Optimization. And I thought it'd be interesting to meet with Lori to get a little background and insight on what all that means. So we got a little diagram back here. So first off, Application Delivery Optimization, what is that? It makes things go faster. I mean, in a nutshell, right? I mean, it's a, it's a kind of a suite of solutions that you know, comprise things like image optimization and EXIF stripping, uh, minification, CSS caching, all of these things to really make applications go faster, particularly when they're being delivered to mobile phones and mobile devices because they're more bandwidth constrained. You got to shrink everything down. So it's, it's part of a larger approach to improving application performance that also includes uh, an integrated speedy gateway. And it's actually perfect timing with this kind of new initiative with the bring your own device. All of these mobile devices making their way into the enterprise, being able to deliver the applications quickly to those end users. It's absolutely critical because everyone is moving around and you never know where someone is going to be accessing their you know, business critical applications from. It could be from a tablet, it could be here at the show, on the floor, it could be at home. So you have to be able to deliver that content as fast as possible and you have to do it tailored to each different kind of device and that can actually be problematic if you don't have an integrated system where you can identify the user, identify the device and then determine which policy is going to be best for delivering that application as fast as possible. All right, so let's look at the, some of the various pieces of this. So what do you got going here? I see we got end users, we got some big IPs, and then data. So how does this all play together? <laughs> well, specifically when we're talking about you know, ADO and then the Speedy Gateway, Speedy Gateway is kind of the underlying you know, protocol that we want to talk about with ADO. And how that works is that you know, typically in HTTP, a web browser on any device will open up, you know, two to eight different connections to try and download things as fast as possible. Speedy constrains that to one, and that's kind of counterintuitive because you think, well, then it's going to go slower. But actually, that mechanism allows for something that's akin to HTTP pipelining, piggybacking, where you can send multiple requests and then asynchronously receive responses. It also allows for prioritization. So if you're doing a, a real-time app and you want to make sure that updates get back, you can prioritize that above ad content or other pieces of content that may not be as important. So it allows some flexibility there. So actually by streamlining it down, it actually affords up to a 50% improvement in performance over the network. Got it, so okay, so how does so the user kind of walk through exactly how it you know, kind of works? So the user requests a page and then? The user requests a page, right. Well and initially, because one of the weird things with Speedy is that it's HTTP but it's not. It's actually separate, it's an evolved version of, of HTTP, if you will, developed by Google. So web browsers themselves, or web servers right now, don't support Speedy natively. So you have to actually deploy that you know, onto the servers, or you need an intermediary, a gateway, in order to mediate for the protocol. So what happens is someone actually makes a request on HTTP and there's a little negotiation that goes on and it says, hey, you know, let's use Speedy. And the web browser, if it's enabled, uh, Firefox, Chrome do right now, um, it says, okay, let's do it. So then it, you know, connects up with Speedy and what happens is between the client and the terminating device, which in our case is going to be big IP LTM, we actually talk Speedy to the client, but then to enable all of the web servers that already exist that don't understand Speedy, we talk on the back end traditional HTTP. So we allow basically a mediation between to say, okay, you want to support Speedy because it's better for your, your clients, but you can't without forklifting your infrastructure here. Put us in the middle and we can kind of help you do that without having to make this huge transition right now. And having that dual proxy then plays a critical role then to be able to talk 
Speedy on one end, HTTP on the other? Well, yes, because once you get this unified application delivery tier layer in here, then you can do the things that you need to do, like know that it's a client that's coming from a home office and it's a tablet, so we need to apply minification, we need to image optimize, maybe we want to strip out any exif information that may be in the photos or, right. or images going out. We can do that at that tier which is going to increase performance because then even going over just that speedy connection, it's going to be a lot less data over a bandwidth constrained environment. But conversely, if they're coming over the land, sometimes that's not advantageous to you know, apply compression. Right. That can actually slow down the app. Because we're sitting in the middle, we can tell where you're coming from and what device you're on. We can make those kind of decisions intelligently to be able to apply the right optimization for the right user and the right client at the right time. Great stuff, Lori. So if you're having um, application optimization challenges or deploying your own BYOD initiative, why don't you come on by booth 2137 here at Interop. You can, Lori, you're going to be around this afternoon, right? I am in the booth every afternoon, ready to talk and draw some pictures for you. Awesome. Hey, so by the way, I know you have a lot of um, followers on Twitter. How can people find you on Twitter? <laughs> put her on the spot there. Yeah, put, it, put me on the spot, right. L. McVitie. Right on. So, right here, reporting from Las Vegas at the uh, Interop 2012 show for Lori, and this time I got Alan behind the lens there filming us. I'm Peter, and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching. <laughs>